Hey everybody, I'm David Henry from LearnStageLighting.com and in this video I'm going to answer the question that you are always asking and it is what professional lighting console or what lighting software, what console should I use? Okay, Whew, better roll up my sleeve for this one. Alright, so if you go on a lighting forum or a Facebook group or whenever you're watching this video in the future, whatever is the popular meeting place for people to go online and talk about lighting, you're going to get about a bazillion opinions if you go in and ask, what lighting console should I use? Especially if you don't provide any context, but honestly, even if you provide a little context, most of the people that are going to comment are just going to put in their favorite console because it's what they're most familiar with, it's what they know how to do things with, and they probably think it's the best thing for everyone else out there. And that's fine. I get that, I understand that, and I've been there. But as someone who teaches about lighting, and as someone who makes sure that I spend time on all the different consoles so that I'm always up to date with what features various consoles have, what features they don't have, which ones are easy to use on the console versus the PC versus a full-size console, all of that, I'm always working and always, you know, going into it and, and really diving in it and trying to find what the best value in consoles are for myself and for the people that I teach, which is probably you. So when I talk about professional level lighting consoles, if you're looking for one to choose, you've got a number of options. There's really a number out there. You know, I'm, I'm just off the top of my head, you know, the first one I learned was Hog, then I learned Grand Demme, um, Camsys, Avolites, Martin's MPC, which is now Elation, or Obsidian's Onyx software, and I'm probably leaving something out. But there's, you know, less than 10 options of really, you know, fairly popular, fully developed, professional level lighting consoles. I left Jan's Vista out of there. Sorry, Chroma Q. I'm Chroma Q Vista. <laughs> and so you've got all these options. And if you go to a public forum and just ask, which one should I use? You're going to get a million different responses. And, you know, here's why. Honestly, every console that's out there that caters to the professional market has strengths and weaknesses. Okay. Some of them are stronger in some areas, some of them are stronger in other areas. And then we have the Grand MA, which is what most people think of as the world's best lighting console. Certainly it could be conceived that way because it runs things like the Olympics and pretty much every huge show. Um, and, but the downside to that, of course, is that it's very expensive. And if you're a person who's buying a lighting console for yourself, for your church, somewhere else, it may not be the best use of your money. So. Why am I rambling on here and what am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say is for me and for a lot of people that I work with, I recommend Onyx, which is now owned by Alation, formerly Martin MPC. Is the software and hardware perfect? No, no software and hardware is perfect. But is it a great console that provides an amazing amount of value for the cost that they ask for it compared to other things on the market? And is it usable on PCs and is it fairly quick and easy for newbies to get up and running? Okay, those are the things that I look for. Now, you may hear this and you may disagree, and this isn't going to become a commercial for Onyx, though I really love their software. But when you're looking for a professional lighting console, what I would recommend doing is if you don't know what all the top contenders are, go ask in the Facebook group or wherever else in the forum, whatever and get all those responses. But don't buy based off of that. Then go ahead, download the software for all these consoles. Start to compare and contrast what you actually need to do and what you need out of a lighting console. And then once you've understood that and figured out what the most important things are to you, go ahead and evaluate these different consoles so you can decide which one is the best for your needs and what's going to be the best balance of cost efficiency as well as ease of use, complexity, and, and whatever you need in a console. Okay, now if you do need more help or want more resources on learning some of these consoles and have the ability to get access to me, 
And then I've got a program called Learn Stage Lighting Labs where you can go in, get access to a whole library of videos where we teach you lots of different stuff, teach you the basics of lighting, teach you the basics of some of my favorite consoles. And uh, you can join today and I want to include a link so you can get some information on that. But, you know, you can do this on your own too. If you want to shortcut it and make the process quicker, you know, go ahead, join the labs. But if not, hang out here on YouTube, be sure to subscribe and also check out my post, How Do I Choose My First Lighting Console? It'll be linked right here. Thank you so much and have a great day. I'll see you here on YouTube. Thanks.